Okay, so today we have in the studio something that kind of went under the radar. It's actually a new tablet and it's made by Vast King. So this is the Vast King ThinkPad SA10 or the SA10. Let's see what this thing has to offer. All right, so right off the bat, I want to give a major thank you to Vasking for sending us a review unit here. So I got this review unit in the studio for me to check out and share with you what my findings are. This is my way of telling you that this is not a sponsored video. I wasn't paid for this. They simply sent out a review unit for me to take a look at, play with it, and tell you what I think of it. Anyways, with that being said, let's go ahead and check out this design. I am pleasantly Surprise. Now, I'm not saying that this is already my review, but I'm just saying right off the bat, pretty impressive, right? It feels and it looks pretty premium. I'm going to fly through the unboxing here. You're going to see what comes through with the box. And let's go ahead and take a look. get this USB wall adapter for charging. It's a five volt brick. We then get this USB type C cable here for charging also. Then we get the manual and additional paper along with the SD card slot ejector tool. This is the tablet itself here. And I have to say that first look, I was actually impressed by the build because it feels kind of premium with these metallic edges that you see here. At the bottom here, we get two speakers or a dual speaker setup, a headphone jack here, the USB type C port and the mic here. At the top, we get the micro SD card slot and that'll be for your option to expand the storage. And you can do that at up to 128 gigs according to the manufacturer here. On the right side here, we get the volume rocker up and down. We get the power button as you can see here. And this will be a closer look as you can also see with that shiny metallic rim around it. We get a front facing camera that will shoot at up to 480p and the rear camera would go up to 120 and that right there is not really that impressive i must add also this camera here doesn't seem to be centered on the back here i know i may be picky here but it seems to be shifted left not sure if this was done on purpose again as i mentioned it feels premium you know kind of on the heavy side maybe not crazy heavy just kind of a hefty weight to it, especially if you compare it to like a Tab A 10.1 inch because that's what I was comparing it to. So this is the tablet here next to my Galaxy Tab A 10.1 and it definitely is heavier than the Samsung Galaxy Tab here, but it seems to be on par with a few other things, right? So at the bottom here, for example, the features do line up somehow. After turning this thing on, let's see what it looks like. So it runs that standard Android and it's going to be pretty simple and very straightforward. By the way, this tablet is not out just yet as of the making of this video, but it will be out very soon with two colors. According to the manufacturer, it would be the rose gold and also the silver gray, which is the unit that I have here. Now, as far as navigation, I'll say that first look here, it seems to be scrolling with no issues and no lag so far. So kind of your typical standard or a stock like Android tablet. It has a 6,000 milliamp hour battery and it actually does last a while. You get 32 gigs of internal storage, but as you can see out of the box here, you have about 7.5 gigs, which is used up from the get go. It is running Android 10 and it's also up to date. Performance has been decent so far with that three gigs of RAM and a 1.6 gigahertz octa core CPU. You can definitely browse the internet, check your emails, watch videos without any issues. Like I mentioned earlier, you get that 32 gigs of internal storage and you can load it up with videos and be able to watch them later. So it's pretty nice for streaming videos on those movie streaming platforms. You can pretty much play full HD videos on here which is actually not bad. You know, you could do YouTube in full HD, Netflix and all that good stuff in full HD and 1080p. That's actually pretty good. Now I do want to mention that I have found a couple of instances where you get a little lag. Not sure if it's because I'm so used to high productivity tablets like the Tab S7, but every now and then I will be able to catch it. It's nothing really terrible, but it is definitely there. Every now and then when I'm multitasking or if I'm trying to multitask, it will stutter a little bit. I kind of hope that that three gigs of RAM would have kicked in a little bit more than it does right now. But with that being said, it's still a budget tablet. Gaming has been nice here. It's not bad at all, especially for a budget tablet. So I don't expect all the games to be in super high 
graphics. Things like Call of Duty will play. It will actually play pretty well, but you just can't push the graphics up to medium or even high. You have to keep them at low before you can actually play the game. I've also played other games and they played okay, especially the small to medium sized games. They play pretty smooth on here and something like Asphalt 9, which is a pretty heavy game, obviously still plays pretty well. So I would say that the camera quality is close to what you would get from like an Amazon Fire or something. So not necessarily great quality, but it's there if you need it and it would work, right? Even though the specs are pretty decent, it's a five megapixel for the front and a 13 megapixel for the one on the rear here. The main camera does go up to 720p and the front facing camera goes up to 480. So you may be able to do, you will be able to do Zoom meetings and things like that, you know, conferences, virtual conferences, but don't expect the quality to be, you know, top notch. And quickly switching to display here, it is a 10 inch 1080p IPS display with a resolution of 1920 by 1200 and the PPI here is 224. So brightness may not be top notch, but overall it's a pretty nice tablet, especially at that price range of $179. Another thing I needed to mention is that outside, if you have overcast or anything like that, if it's a little dark outside, you'll be fine with the tablet, but visibility kind of disappear, well, maybe not disappear, it kind of goes pretty low once you have that sun hitting directly you know, at that screen. But other than that, it does come with a premium build and some decent specs. It has some pretty nice features like those speakers. They actually get pretty loud, but I just don't like the fact that they're on one side. I wish they had one on each side of the tablet, but still they sound pretty loud. And then you have the ability to wake up the tablet by either picking it up and tapping it or just swiping it open. You also do get Bluetooth 4.2 here and five gigahertz Wi-Fi bed is supported and it also has a GPS. But anyway, so that was my full review of the Vasking KingPad SA10, and I hope you found this informative. Of course, please find the link in the description if you're interested in picking this up. I'm gonna leave an affiliate link, an Amazon affiliate link in the description for you to get to pick up a copy of this. Of course, please don't forget to like, subscribe as always. I'm gonna catch you in the comment section, and I'm also gonna catch you in the next video, and up until then, stay safe out there.